Well, you know, we're following breaking news in the death of that young woman found inside of a Rosemont hotel freezer. New details emerging from dozens of police reports and witness statements in the case of Kanika Jenkins. They include that she was found by a hotel worker lying face down on her side. She had one shoe off, no signs of trauma except a small cut on her foot. The hotel only checked exit and entrance surveillance at first and then looked at hallways later. The kitchen she entered had a motion activated camera which had not turned on for weeks until her body was discovered. Her mother said no twice to police when they offered to analyze Kanika's cell phone. Friends at the party later received death threats. Police also based some questions to witnesses on tips from social media. One included a theory that Kanika was killed for $200 by a so-called blood gang. When a friend was asked about a reference to $200 in a Facebook Live video, the friend said it was the amount, the fine for the amount for illegally parking in the hotel lot. The medical examiner's office has said epilepsy medication and alcohol played a role in her death, which was caused by hypothermia. Jenkins' mother has said the teen was not prescribed any medication.